Hello everyone, it's Maria and welcome to my channel Life in Yakutia. In this video I want to tell you about the National Art Museum of the Republic of Saha Yakutia. This museum has a great collection of works uh, from Russian and foreign artists. Uh, there are works from Italy, Netherlands and also from Asian countries such as uh, Japan, China, um, Korea and Tibet. But I will not talk about these works today because I am um, not really good at art and there are much more better reviews in the internet of the works of foreign foreign artists than me, <laughs> yeah, than mine. And even though I am not an expert, today I want to show you works of Yakut artists, which are great in my opinion. And also I want to share with you my perception of these works. Uh, my perception as a local, as a person who was born and raised here in Yakutia. And, well, I think that perception can never be wrong. I will show just a small part of the whole collection of works of Yakut artists. But, well, if you are interested, you can visit the museum by yourself, if you come to Yakutsk someday. And also, I will leave the link of the museum in the description below. I hope that this review will be interesting for you. Have a nice day and enjoy the video. The tickets to the museum cost 150 rubles. It's around $2. Let's begin with two works from one topic, shamanism. Yakut people believe in shamans and their power. Even though during last century it all was almost destroyed by communists, shamanism survived and there are shamans nowadays. This painting shows dance of shaman during a ride. This work represents Arangas, tomb of shaman or Udagan which almost all were destroyed during last century. The next topic is north of Yakutia. North of Yakutia, Arctic, is a very mysterious place for me. I have never been there, but one day I will definitely go there. In these paintings you will see a lot of tears since native people of Arctic are nomads. There are Yakut and other nations such as Ivan, Ivank, Yukagir and Dalgan. They are very different from Yakut people. They have their own languages, cultures, clothes and ways of living. The more we go to the north, the more chances to see aurora or polar lights we have. However, in Yakutsk it's also possible to see polar lights, but they won't be so bright as in the north. This painting is called Everything for the Victory. It represents women's attire and jewelry, the most precious things that a woman had. The topic of the World War II is very difficult for everyone and Yakut people are not an exception. Even though Yakutia was so far from the battles, it was very, very tough. This painting is called Farewell. A mother is kissing goodbye her son. It's known that among all the nations of Soviet Union, including Russians, Yakut people had the biggest percentage to own population, the biggest percentage of victims of war. This painting shows traditional Yakut attire. You can see a lot of fur, silver and different ornaments, which all have their own meaning. There are a few paintings of women in their wedding attires. I guess artisans liked to draw Yakut brides because they are very authentic and beautiful. The 
these are part of wedding decorations. This big door made of birch bark used for a bride's room. Very beautiful, isn't it? And this box was used to keep wedding dowry. This painting is called Dream. You can see a small happy boy with a huge Grecian carp. To catch such a big fish is a dream for any Yaku child. I like this painting because I see myself here. I still remember my biggest carp that we caught and how happy I was. Grecian carp saved Yaku people from starvation during hard war times. This painting shows a dance of seven cranes. Crane is a sacred bird for Yakut people and seven is a special number. There is a belief that if you see a dance of cranes, you will live a happy life. Here you can see Munha. Munha is traditional Yakut fishing for Christian carp. Again, they catch a lot of fish. Every person on this picture will take one or two big bags of fish at the end. It's a tradition that everyone who participates in Munha should receive the same amount of fish. Nowadays it's very rare practice, but if I am lucky, I hope to join one this year. These are decorations made of mammoth tusks. Paintings are quite young part of art in Yakutia, maybe a bit more than one century. But mammoth tusk carving is very old and respectable art here. Mammoth tusk artisans from Yakutia are famous all over the world. This exposition is called by the name of the most important traditional Yakut festival, Uhur. It's made by Fyodor Markov and next week this exposition is going to London to become a part of the British Museum. If you are in London and you want to see it, you may find it there very soon. I was very glad to see birch bark dishes, which are very similar to my family collection. At the end, I strongly recommend to visit this museum if you come to Yakutsk one day, because it has a great collection of works and you can get closer to Yakut culture and our history. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.